Once upon a time in a small village in ancient India, there lived two men named Ashvin and Rajan. Ashvin was a hard-working man who always had a positive outlook on life, while Rajan was a lazy man who constantly harbored negative thoughts in his mind. One day, both Ashvin and Rajan decided to travel to the city to seek their fortunes. They walked for several days until they reached the outskirts of a city, where they saw a large gathering of people. Upon inquiry, they learned that Master Hiroshi, the great philosopher and spiritual leader, was giving a discourse on the power of the mind. Curious, Ashvin and Rajan decided to attend the discourse. Master Hiroshi talked about how the mind is the most powerful tool that humans possess and how it can be used to shape our destiny. He also spoke about the importance of positive thinking and how it can help us achieve our goals. After the discourse, Ashvin felt inspired and motivated, while Rajan remained skeptical. He thought to himself, what good will positive thinking do? Life is full of problems and challenges. There's no way one can be happy and successful all the time. As they walked back to their village, Ashvin tried to convince Rajan about the power of positive thinking, but Rajan remained unconvinced. He continued to harbor negative thoughts and beliefs, which eventually led to a series of unfortunate events. One day, Rajan's crops failed, and he was left with no means to support himself and his family. He became bitter and resentful, blaming everyone and everything for his misfortunes. He even started to envy Ashvin's success, which only made matters worse. Meanwhile, Ashvin's positive attitude and hard work paid off. His crops yielded a bumper harvest, and he earned a good profit. He also made new friends and developed good relationships with his neighbors. Ashvin was happy and content with his life. One day, Ashvin went to visit Rajan, who was now living in poverty. Rajan was surprised to see Ashvin's success and asked him how he managed to achieve it. Ashvin replied, It's all in the mind, my friend. Positive thinking and hard work can do wonders. Rajan scoffed at Ashvin's words, saying that he was just lucky and that positive thinking was a myth. Ashvin decided to prove Rajan wrong and took him to meet Master Hiroshi, who was still living in the same city. Master Hiroshi welcomed them and listened patiently to their stories. He then asked them to meditate and observe their thoughts. Rajan found it difficult to focus, as his mind was filled with negative thoughts and doubts. Ashvin, on the other hand, found it easy to meditate and felt a sense of peace and calmness. Master Hiroshi then explained to them that the mind is like a garden, and our thoughts are like seeds. Just as we can cultivate a garden by sowing good seeds and nurturing them, we can cultivate our mind by thinking positive thoughts and focusing on our goals. He gave them a simple exercise, observe their thoughts, write down all the negative ones that came to their mind, replace each negative thought with a positive one, and focus on it for a few minutes each day. Ashvin took the exercise seriously and diligently followed Master Hiroshi's instructions. He found that his negative thoughts were gradually replaced by positive ones, and he felt more confident and motivated than ever before. Rajan, on the other hand, found the exercise difficult and soon gave up. He continued to harbor negative thoughts and beliefs, which only led to more problems and challenges in his life. Years passed, and Ashvin became a successful farmer, respected by his community and loved by his family. He continued to follow Master Hiroshi's teachings and remained grateful for all the blessings in his life. Rajan, on the other hand, continued to struggle with poverty and despair. He became bitter and resentful, blaming everyone and everything for his misfortunes. He never realized that his negative thoughts and beliefs were the root cause of his problems. One day, Rajan decided to visit Ashvin and apologize for his behavior. He realized that his negative thoughts had only led him to a life of misery, while Ashvin's positive thinking had brought him success and happiness. Ashvin welcomed Rajan with open arms and forgave him. He then shared with him the secret of his success, the power of positive thinking. 
He explained how his daily practice of focusing on positive thoughts and affirmations had transformed his life. Rajan listened intently and decided to give it a try. He started to replace his negative thoughts with positive ones and focused on his goals. Gradually, he began to see a change in his life. His crops yielded a better harvest, and he was able to earn a good profit. He also developed good relationships with his neighbors and started to feel happier and more content. As time passed, Rajan became a successful farmer and a respected member of his community. He realized that the power of positive thinking had transformed his life and was grateful for Master Hiroshi and Ashvin's guidance. In conclusion, the story of Ashvin and Rajan teaches us the importance of positive thinking in our lives. Our thoughts shape our reality, and we have the power to choose what we think and believe. Negative thoughts only lead to a life of misery and despair, while positive thoughts can bring us success and happiness. We can cultivate our minds like a garden by sowing good seeds and nurturing them. We can replace negative thoughts with positive ones and focus on our goals. By doing so, we can transform our lives and achieve our dreams. As Master Hiroshi once said, we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. You are the master of your own thoughts, and you have the power to change them. Negative thoughts are like weeds in a garden, they can choke out the beauty and goodness in your life. Let go of negative thoughts, they only bring suffering. If you want to be happy, learn to control your thoughts and focus on the positive. Don't let your thoughts control you, instead, learn to control your thoughts. Negative thoughts are the biggest obstacle to happiness and success. To stop negative thoughts, practice mindfulness and meditation. The mind is a powerful tool, use it to cultivate positivity and joy. Be mindful of your thoughts, for they can shape your reality. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations and watch your life transform. Happiness is not found in external circumstances but in the quality of your thoughts. Let go of the past, let go of the future, and focus on the present moment. Don't let negative thoughts cloud your judgment, instead, cultivate a clear and calm mind. Train your mind to see the good in every situation, even in difficult times. Negative thoughts are like poison, they can harm your mind and body. Believe in yourself and your ability to overcome negative thoughts. Negative thoughts can only hold power over you if you allow them to. Choose your thoughts wisely, for they can shape your destiny. Don't be a slave to your thoughts, instead, be the master of them. Practice gratitude to cultivate a positive mindset. The more you focus on the positive, the more positive experiences you will attract into your life. Let go of judgment and criticism and cultivate compassion for yourself and others. Your thoughts create your emotions, so choose them wisely. Remember that negative thoughts are just thoughts, and you have the power to change them. Embrace the present moment and let go of worries about the future and regrets about the past. Practice self-care to nourish your mind, body, and spirit. Don't let negative thoughts steal your joy, instead, focus on the good in your life. Be mindful of the words you speak, for they can shape your thoughts and emotions. Remember that you are not your thoughts, you are the observer of them.